We're on our way to the most famous jazz club in the world. Why are we heading there? Well, Ronnie e. Scott is the place where I cut my teeth uh, when I just moved to London from Birmingham. My mum and dad and my sister all came to like my first headline show there, which was crazy. As soon as I walked out there, I just felt the warmth from the crowd and I was like, this is where I belong. Nothing beats that feeling as a performer, don't you think? <sighs> when you literally just like get out there and feel that energy from the crowd, like that is literally the feeling that I'm chasing every time I, I perform. One is we made it. Ronnie Scott. Easy peasy. Let's go. To give you what you need. So excited. Yeah. Wow, look at this room. We're in Ronnie Scott's, this is it. We're here. And we saw your name as we walked in. Do you have particular memories, like, of the first time you walked in? It was a jam session, and I was waiting to see if I was allowed to get up. I just went crazy on the piano. The rest, as they say, is history. After that night, and I've been coming ever since. Game changer. And, yeah, forget about it. I heard there's a piano upstairs. There is a little piano. Do you want me to play a little something, something, Shall something? We... A little. was a lot of fun. It was so nice to see somewhere that means so much to you. So would you say that playing at such an iconic venue was like the moment that amplified your career? I'd say there's definitely a few moments. The first big gig I did was opening up for BB King. I was only 15 years old. I was so nervous, but then as soon as I got on the stage, I got the butterflies and then I just started going through it. And that was the moment I knew I was gonna be a musician and I was going to do this that for the rest it. of my life, yeah. I think that that feeling of watching somebody perform is just so important. It's all about being soulful and just really pouring it out on stage and that's what I try and do. That's why soul music means so much to me and it, and it connects to people on a, such a deep level. What about James Brown though, oh, bro? The swag, the style, the vibes, the moves, the dance moves. That's what I mean about giving it your all, like he'd be screaming on stage and he loses his voice. I cannot believe that you're going to perform on top <laughs> of a car park in Olympic Park. I'm going to walk it up there for sure, I'm so excited.